Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades that I'm going to take today on Tuesday 27th of August 2024. These trades are going to be taken on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and the S&P 500 futures. As you see from one hour micro chart, the price was fluctuating above the previous day close on all E-minis and came back and retested this level during the London session. And after New York market opening, if you're looking at 10 minute micro chart, we see that the price retested the previous day low on all Eminis and bounced back and buyers pushed the price strongly and passed the level of previous day close. So it looks like we're trading a pin bar here and the price is reversing on the hourly and daily charts. So we're going to wait for some pullback here and take long positions with setup B and C and T. So we're going to wait and look at opportunities to enter with high probability and low risk. Okay, now we're back and we waited to have a very deep pullback here. And the price is close to the previous day support on the NASDAQ and also on S&P 500 and Dow Jones. So what we're going to do is take set of B positions first that we see we entered several long positions here that were filled on the nasdaq we open it around the low of the channel and close it on high of the channels this order on s 500 were filled but it didn't go through so it came out with break even now we have two positions open on nasdaq because volatility is high we're just gonna have quick call for now and take every pullback now we finish setup c on nasdaq we're setting limit order to be filled with setup B on Dow Jones, which is less trendy, and setup C on Nasdaq and S&P 500 were just filled. The ATM closed the S&P 500 position, but we're holding the Nasdaq one, so I'm just entering one setup B also to average and ready to exit if this level breaks and the sellers become strong so far order flows shows that the selling pressure is reduced and the buyers are getting in control so we're just going to take long positions repeatedly as you see delta is reversing and order flow on the tick and ysc shows reversal again more setup c positions on S&P 500 and also on NASDAQ again when the buyers came back I re-entered again manually one long position this level is going to break because we see a lot of buying pressure and you can see Delta is getting very positive and gaining momentum so we're just going to get every pull back with good price in the lower part of this range and then close it on upper area of the channel we're not expecting any runner at this moment just quick call when this sideway range cleared then we can expect very good strong momentum you can see the sellers are coming back so we're going to wait and take again another long position with setup b on the lower part of channel we just open one position on nasdaq and we're going to close it now So we finish this area and then there's a deep pullback. You can see the sellers are coming back. So we're going to wait and take again another long position with setup B on the lower part of channel. We just open one position on NASDAQ and we're going to close it now. If you see it doesn't go through, we're just going to close it with profit and close for the day. Let's see if this order fills or it closes on the other side of channel with profit. Okay, I'm going to close it now if it doesn't reach this target. It's just close it manually. Okay, finish it. And that's enough for the day because this channel may take a while and it's volatile. So let's look at the stats. All these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex trader fund accounts.
we see that the result is positive. We gain profit factor of 3.28, which is coming from 82% win rate from the long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio of 0.7. The largest winning trade was 330 and the largest losing trade was $269. So hope these trades taken by the PAN system for fast scalping is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.